Welcome back to part four on this module on functions. In this part, we'll focus on how functions actually work in a program. This will help us to understand the next topics, pointers and passing by reference. Programs have what's known as a program stack, sometimes referred to as a call stack. Before we go further, let's understand what a stack is. A stack is a storage data structure that holds elements in a last in, first out, or LIFO manner. There are two basic operations, push, add an element to the top of the stack, and pop, where you remove an element from the top of the stack. Access to elements in a stack is restricted to these two operations, which can make it extremely efficient. The stack used in a program is similar. At the start of a program, an empty stack is created. The first thing to be pushed to the stack is the actual program code. Then global variables or other static content are pushed. As functions are called, a new stack frame is created. A frame is simply just a chunk of memory. This frame is used to store parameters, local variables, and other data used by the function. When the function is done executing, the frame is popped from the call stack and removed. As a consequence, variables in each frame are distinct and separate, even if they have the same identifiers. Let's look at an example. Consider the following functions. In the main function, we have two variables, a and b, with values 10 and 16 respectively. We call the average function, which in turn calls the sum function. The sum function adds the two numbers, and the average function divides that sum by two, returning the computed average back to the main function. So we have a function calling a function calling a function. Here's what the stack frames might look like. We've depicted the stack as growing upwards, but in reality, memory in a computer has no orientation. Each function has its own stack frame. When a function is called, the arguments are passed by value. That is, the values stored in the variables a and b are copied to this new stack frame. As a consequence, each stack frame has its own independent copies of the variables a and b. As the functions return, each stack frame is removed. Using a stack in this manner has several advantages. First, it makes calling and returning from a function extremely efficient. Each stack frame sequesters local variables and data, localizing any changes. Finally, the call stack acts as breadcrumbs, giving us the ability to easily trace the execution of the program through its function calls. Let's take a look at a live demonstration of this example. Here we're using that same visualization tool. Let's step through the program. A and B are initialized to 10 and 16 in the main. We then call average, which creates a new stack frame, holding the parameter values A and B and a local variable Y. The parameter values are copied. So we actually have two copies of the variables A and B now. We then call the sum function which again has parameters and a local variable x. The parameters are copied by value, x is computed and returned. Popping and destroying the stack frame for the sum function. Likewise, when we return from average, its stack frame is popped and the program terminates. We'll end with yet another demonstration that will segue into the next topic. Consider the following function that attempts to swap the values stored in two variables a and b. The code actually works for these two variables. We place a into a temporary variable, place the value of b into a, and then place the temporary variable back into b. However, as we'll see, this will not work in general because functions pass parameters by value. We start out and initialize the values a and b. We print them out. We call our swap function, which copies the values 10 and 20 into a separate stack frame. Temp takes the value 10, b is stored into a, and the temporary value is stored back into b. So the values a and b from the perspective of the swap function have been successfully swapped. 
but these were different variables. A and B in the main were different variables. When we return, they remain unaffected. In fact, the copies of A and B have been destroyed with the stack frame. When we print them, they remain unchanged. This is because variables are passed by value. We'll learn how to deal with this and successfully be able to swap values with functions in the next few parts.